Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 15-year-old male who had knee pain and swelling for one or two weeks, and they brought him in for an MRI scan. There was no history of prior trauma, and we see that he has a normal appearance of his bones. This is the femur, the thigh bone up here. We see this round area is the femoral condyle, and down below we have the tibia, and in between we have the knee joint. This is the medial side, lateral side, and you can see the knee joint is not normal. There's bright signal. Everything in here is uh, too thick, too bright. So this is synovial inflammation and fluid. It is a synovial inflammatory process within the knee. So it's not just fluid, it looks too gray. And you can see over here these rinds of gray. This is synovial thickening. The synovial lining is inflamed. We have some of the synovium go down through here. We call this area the popliteus hiatus. The uh, fluid dissects along the course of this popliteus tendon way down here below the knee. Also if we go towards the front, it has lots of inflammation in the front of the knee here. In this area we call the suprapatellar pouch. This is behind the kneecap. On this view you can see this gray line. This is the synovium, the synovial lining that's diffusely thickened. And the clear white stuff is the fluid within the knee joint. So this patient has synovitis of undetermined etiology. Typically when we see this we uh, think there may be an infection. And so the uh, orthopedic surgeon needs to aspirate and uh, test the fluid to see if it's infectious and that is the most common thing. Back over here we see a, an enlarged lymph node. Here's another enlarged lymph node that goes along with infection or any inflammatory process. Over here we have that lymph node looking from the side. Here's a kneecap here and here you get a sense of how extensive this is. This is the front of the knee joint, the kneecap, the knee joint goes way up here and it's diffusely inflamed with complex fluid. And that's it, so just a nonspecific synovial inflammatory process, probably septic arthritis. And um, when we see this, we ask them to aspirate the fluid. We also look at the bones to make sure there's no bone infection, because that can go along with it. But the bones all look normal, and that's it. Thank you very much.